Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSE Partshala. We were studying about machine learning using Python 3 and in this tutorial we will study about binomial and Poisson distribution. So if we talk about binomial distribution, it is a discrete distribution. That means it describes the outcome of binary scenarios. Uh, for example, tossing of a coin, uh, it, it can be either a head or a tail. So it's quite clear from the definition that it's not a continuous thing. Okay, and here the outcome is either, uh, if I just took an example of a uh, tossing of a coin, it shows that uh, it has only two possible outcomes, that means head or tail. So in case of binomial distribution, uh, we can say that it uh, possess the values like uh, true, false, 0, 1 or yes, no, uh, this kind of distribution it has. Okay, so uh, there are three parameters which are present in binomial distribution. These are the number one is number of trials or the number of times which we uh, do in order to have a distribution. Okay, or uh, it's a performance. P stands for the probability of occurrence of each trial. For example, uh, we have tossed a coin. So what is the probability of coming of a head or a tail? Third one is the size. That means uh, it's the shape of the return array. Obviously, uh, after the performance of the binomial distribution, we will uh, return an array possessing all the values of it. So uh, here is the size. All right. So if we talk about discrete distribution, it is defined as a separate set of events. Okay, tossing of a coin is a discrete event uh, because uh, it has only two values that is head or a tail. While if we consider the height of a people, it is continuous in nature. So the difference between discrete and a continuous is uh, if we generate a graph by uh, taking the distribution points, so uh, the continuous will never break while discrete will definitely break. So if you consider height like uh, 170, 170.1, obviously it's a continuous graph, but it cannot be considered under discrete thing. Okay, so let's consider an example for binomial distribution. That means we have been given a 10 trials for coin toss. We need to generate 10 data points. Okay, so let's consider a code and implement it on Jupyter Notebook. All right, so here it is. Import numpy as np. From numpy, we need to import random, all right. Then x equal to random dot binomial. Okay, if we need to perform normal distribution, we are taking normal. If we need to perform binomial distribution, we are taking binomial. Okay, and the parameters are n equal to 10. That means the number of trials are 10. Probability of each trial is 0.5. And the size here we are taking as um, uh, the 10 values. Okay, from 1 to 10, we are taking the values and then we are printing it. So let's uh, save this code, run this code. So here is the output. If you just save and run this code again, we get some different set of values. So these values are uh, from 1 to 10 and according to the probability, it has been printing here in a random form. Okay. Now, if you want to visualize binomial distribution, this can be done as uh, let's consider a code implemented on Jupyter Notebook. Okay. All right. From NumPy import random import matplotlib dot plot as plt import cborn as sns all these uh, modules in numpy we have seen in the previous tutorial matplotlib is uh, for plotting up the graph and cborn is used for uh, distribution plot okay so then sns dot dist plot that means we need to plot a distribution plot for this binomial. So SNS dot this plot random dot binomial here we are taking again the number of trials are 10 probability is 0.5 and the size here we are taking as 1000. Then we are making histogram as true. Obviously we need to print a histogram but for the Gaussian thing we are making it as false. So what does KDE means? KDE means uh, where whether to plot a Gaussian kernel density or not. So we are not plotting it. Its value is of either true or other false. That means it's a it's of Boolean type. So we are making it as false here. Okay, and then we are plotting the graph. Okay, so let's save this code, run this code. All right, so here it is. Here is the binomial distribution. Okay, and uh, we have plotted the histogram for uh, the respective values which we will uh, get here 
that means uh, here we are having from 1 to 9 uh, we have been uh, present values and uh, these are the number of times these values will be printed so the total will come up to be as 1000 all right now if you talk about difference between normal and binomial dist distribution is so the main difference is obviously a normal distribution is continuous nature while binomial distribution is discrete in nature but if there are enough data points which are available in binomial distribution we can make a compatible or similar graph of binomial distribution to the normal distribution where uh, the certain LOC and uh, for a certain LOC that means the mean and scale that is the standard deviation okay we can consider such kind of values so we can have a similar kind of graph for both of these so let's consider an example and check okay so here it is all right so import numpy as np from numpy import random import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import cbon as sns okay now we will first plot the normal distribution then we will plot the binomial distribution and we will be having a comparison of both of them okay so here it is sns dot dist plot random dot normal okay here we are taking the mean value that is loc is 50 scale that is the standard deviation we are taking here as 5 and the size that means for 1000 values okay here we are again making histogram as false but we are labeling this uh, graph with normal okay now again in the next line sns dot dist plot that is the distribution plot random dot binomial distribution here we are taking n equal to 100 that means we are taking 100 values or the 100 trials the probability of each trial is uh, 0.5 and uh, again we are taking the size as 1000 that means for the 1000 values okay here again we are making the histogram as false and we are labeling the graph with the binomial and then we are showing this plot with plt dot show so let's save this code run this code okay so here it is please ignore the warning because uh, warning is coming because of the dist uh, plot okay so here is our output exactly what which we want to see so it's quite clear that if you talk about these certain values which we have taken in the above program uh, it happens that both normal and binomial distribution are coming to be somewhat similar okay for uh, the values of mean and standard deviation that means we have taken here 50 and 5 and for the binomial we have taken the trials as 100 and the probability is 0.5 for the same size of both of them it's coming to be compatible or somehow what same all right so that's about binomial distribution now we will study about Poisson's distribution see Poisson's distribution is also a discrete distribution but it estimates how many times an event occur in a specified time okay we have been given a specified times and we need to calculate or find out how many times this particular event has been occurred uh, for example uh, if someone eats twice a day so what is the probability that he will eat thrice a day the parameters which are used in Poisson's distribution is uh, LAM that means the rate or uh, known number of occurrences okay and the size obviously uh, which will return in the form of an array okay so let's consider an example and then we will understand how Poisson distribution work okay so here it is all right so import numpy as np from numpy import random x equal to random dot poison uh, lam equal to 2 and we are taking here the size is 10 so lam that means we are taking the known number of occurrences or the rate or the frequency uh, with which a particular event is uh, been occurring okay so it's a 2 here and for uh, the size that means for the 10 values we are uh, performing this operation and then we are printing it so let's save this code run this code so here it is uh, so we got these certain values okay again if we save this code run this code uh, we get another set of values okay because it's a random thing all right now if you want to visualize Poisson's distribution it can be done like uh, let's consider a code and then implement it here all right so import numpy as np from numpy import random import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import cbon as sns 
so we should remember all uh, these uh, modules before performing any task on distribution we need to import numpy from numpy we need to import random then we need to import matplotlib uh, for uh, the drawing of the graph for plotting of the graph and c1 is for the distribution plot okay so now sns.displot random.poison okay so uh, in the above programs for the binomial distribution we took random.binomial for normal distribution we took random dot uh, normal okay and for poison distribution we will take random dot poison so sns dot displot random dot poison lamb equal to 2 that means the frequency or the occurrence of a particular event is 2 here and the size is 1000 and we are making false the Gaussian value okay so and then we are plotting it so let's save this code and run this code so here it is this is the poisons distribution okay and obviously if we sum up all these values it will come up to be uh, 1000 that is respectively for uh, zeros and twos and four and six okay what are the values which are being uh, coming here in poisons distribution all right now if you talk about the difference between normal and poisons distribution uh, since uh, normal distribution is a continuous uh, distribution while Poisson's is a discrete distribution. This is one of the basic difference. But if we take larger values for the Poisson's distribution uh, as we did for the binomial distribution, we did consider some values uh, there, some compatible values there. So here also Poisson's distribution can become similar to normal distribution with certain standard deviation and the mean. Okay, so let's consider a code and then we will understand uh, how it can be made compatible. All right, so here it is. Import numpy as np from numpy import random, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import c as sns. Okay, now sns.displot we are plotting normal distribution. Okay, so random.normal mean that is loc is 50, standard deviation scale that is 7. And size we have been taking here as 1000 histogram we are making it as false and we are labeling the graph with normal okay then uh, sns dot displot random dot poison this is the poison distribution lamb that is uh, the frequency of occurrence that is 50 size we are taking here as 1000 same to the normal distribution again we are making histogram as false and labeling this graph with a poison okay then we are plotting the graph okay so let's save this code run this code so here it is it's quite clear that both the graphs are somehow what compatible and uh, these are certainly the values on the x-axis and this is the probability density okay so with these respective values we can make compatible graph of both all right now, what is the difference between Poisson's and uh, binomial distribution since both are discrete distributions? But surely there is some difference between uh, Poisson and binomial that is uh, binomial dis distribution is for the discrete trials, okay? While the Poisson's distribution is for continuous trial, that means we have been given a time and that particular time we need to continuously perform trials in a continuous manner. Okay, so this is called as Poisson's distribution. So, uh, but for the larger values of n um, near 0, P binomial distribution is nearly identical to the Poisson's distribution because in, in such case, n star P is nearly equal to the lamb or the frequency. Okay, so if you take the larger value of n and uh, nearly 0 value of P, and the product will somehow what come to be equal uh, to lamb. So let's consider a code and then we will understand uh, how to perform these. All right. So here it is. Import numpy as np from numpy import random import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import c one as sns sns dot displot. Here uh, we are plotting binomial distribution. So we are taking n as 1000 that means larger value of n the probability here we are taking is 0.01 that means nearly equal to 0 okay but it's non-zero 
size we are taking it uh, here as 1000 then sns dot plot random dot poison we are taking poison distribution here with the lamb uh, that is equal to 10 okay so if you find the product of uh, n into p that is equal to lamb that's what we have uh, discussed uh, that if you want to make both the graphs for the Banovan and Poisson compatible, we need to do this operation. Okay, so here your lamb or the frequency occurrence of a particular event here given as 10. Size again we are taking the same that is 1000. Histogram we are making it as false and we are labeling the graph with a Poisson thing. Okay, and then we are plotting it. Okay, so let's save this code run this code so here it is all right so these are certainly the values this is the probability density and it's quite clear that both the graphs are compatible or nearly same so that's all for this tutorial we will come up with more exciting tutorials thanks for watching kindly do subscribe to my channel